Hello everybody, my name is Niall, and welcome back to the third episode of Teens Read, my new YouTube channel. Um, and in this video, we are going to be discussing um, in Brissinger, which is the third book in the Inheritance Cycle. In the past two videos, we talked about Aragon and Eldest, the last two books in the series. But before we get started, I want to say thank you to Jaffe. Come on down oh. here. <laughs> He's been a big help in creating my videos. And he made me a nice snow beach, because we got, like, three feet of snow yesterday, and... Thank you, Daffy. Mm -hmm. So, getting into the video, the third book, <laughs> third book, Eldest, in the Inheritance Cycle, is um, my favorite of the three books, the three um, Inheritance, or the four Inheritance Cycle books. It's my favorite of the three we've talked about so far. Because um, in this book they really start going to war against Galbertorix, and it, it becomes more of a head-on struggle. And in this book, also, Rorin, Aragorn's cousin, comes into the story. And it makes it really interesting because he rises up through the Varden very quickly as well, but in a different way. He becomes a very popular person, but by working really hard. And Aragorn, of course, was working hard, but... Aragorn was kind of an instant celebrity and was already given privileges just because he was a dragon rider. However, Rorin was just, he just started off with a hammer and he came all the way from Carvajal because, uh, Galbertorix was trying to destroy his village because Aragorn had lived there. Um, and so they moved all the way to the Varden and they joined the Varden and Aragorn's whole village of 200 people or so joined the Varden and... Rorin became kind of their leader in the last book, and it's a really fascinating thing seeing how him, a very young person, um, became very popular among the townsfolk and the Varden, and how he kind of became the leader um, and the bedrock for the um, Carvajal part of the uh, Varden, and Carvajal was the village that Aragon and Rorin had lived in. So... In this one, they kind of start, in in Eldest, this book, Aragorn meets the elves and goes to the elves and gets, he finds a second dragon rider, and in this one, you have a lot of different stories with, there's like a lot of different small details put in, like there's this one, there's this one um, section of the book where Rorin, I can't remember if it's in this book or the next book, um, where Rorin he he starts trying to defend a village against the um the against Galvatorix because Galvatorix was trying to destroy the village and get all of the resources because it was a certain village who were helping the Varden. So it's just a really detailed part of the story that's it it, it really helps build Rorin and kind of how he keeps getting better at fighting and how he kind of builds up this community and yet he's very strong and powerful on his own. He killed something like 300 people on his own. And it's really incredible seeing how he progresses. Um, so I think my top f three favorite characters in this book are Rorin, definitely, because he becomes a big part of the story and he's really influential in Aragorn's life. And he kind of, you can see how he grows um along the story, and how he kind of becomes a leader, and how from coming from farming, he becomes one of the best soldiers in the Varden. And it's it's really an amazing story. Um, probably my second favorite character in this book is, um, not Nasuada, Angela, the herbalist slash witch, because she's all secretive and has so many secrets, but she's also a very um, funny character, and she has a ton of different interesting stories, and she and Aragorn have a sort of odd relationship, because Aragorn doesn't like not knowing things, but they still manage to become friends, and um, Saphira really likes her, and she's a really vital component to the story and the Varden in general. And she's just a really quirky character. She uses um, a two, a, a, a staff with blades on either side when she's fighting, and it's just she's a really funny character. Um, 
And then another one of my favorite characters in this book is Glader, who's the dragon that they meet. Um, who's the dragon that they meet, even though um, Sephira thought there was no other male dragons. And Sephira kind of gets all loopy over meeting a second dragon of her race. Um, but Glader is a very wise pers a wise dragon. He seems to know a lot of things and have good advice, but he never really reveals too much about himself and Ormus, his rider. And he's a really interesting character because he he he's like a really integral part of how Aragorn and Saphira grow. But throughout the story, like later on in the story, Christopher Rowling kind of makes him fade out, and then he dies eventually in the next book and it's a very it's very interesting seeing how much it impacts Aragon even though it seemed like Christopher Paolini was trying to make Glader and um, Ormus a less important part of the story it's amazing to see or it's interesting to see how much their deaths affect him um also I liked how he had so many different details about the elves. Like, they lived in an amazing treehouse, and in th this is the book where Aragorn really, he finds he finds secrets that were told to him by the weird cat that's Angela's pet. Um, and it's a really fascinating story because of how many different characters Christopher Paolini adds in. There's a elven, um an elven blacksmith that helps him forge um, a new sword for himself after his previous one gets stolen, and it's just really incredible how well this book all comes together. So, if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and if you have any suggestions for books that I should read in the future, make sure to leave them down in the comments, and thank you for watching!